Hello, my name is Tracy Platt. I'm the site supervisor of the Ansonia Public Schools Pre-K program. Today I'm gonna do a little virtual tour of our blue classroom. Um, so we are among the COVID pandemic, so I'm gonna go through a little bit of our procedures for pick up and drop off, and then show you the classroom. Um, these are our main entrance doors. Um, in the morning, there's always going to be someone right inside the doors, most likely me, because we're doing health screenings on the children and the staff before anyone arrives. So right through these doors, I'm going to show you what it looks like to go through our health screening. I'm going to put my mask on now because all adults entering the building have to have a mask on at all times. Um, and as you can see, we have a buzzer system right there behind me. So in morning drop-off procedures, you're not really gonna need to use the buzzer because someone's gonna be right there doing health screenings. But in the afternoon, when you come to pick up, you're gonna uh, ring the bell for the, the color of your child's classroom. There's a little sign over there that tells you what buttons to push. Um, so you're gonna uh, push the buttons for the blue classroom. The doorbell is gonna ring in that classroom and someone will um, escort your child over to the doors because right now under the governor's orders and the OEC and the CDC nobody can enter the building um, so you kind of have to wait right out here or just go into the corridor in the morning all right so here we go and here we are right inside these doors there's a table here with a paper questionnaire. You just have to answer the questions. And then the child stands on the orange line that's on the floor and uh, gets their temperature checked with a forehead thermometer that doesn't even touch them. So once they pass the health screening, they're going to go right here and wash their hands. And when they're all set, a staff member is gonna walk them down to the classroom. So this corridor right here is the last place that you'll see your child before they go to the classroom. They'll get washed up, they'll do their health screening, you say your goodbyes, and the staff member escorts them down to the classroom. And at the end of the day, like I said, you wait outside our main entrance door and someone will escort the child to you. Um, this door right up here at the end of, of our hallway goes out to the playground. Feel free to come by anytime uh, to take a peek at the playground outside. Okay, so we are going to go this way uh, to the classrooms and also at the end of that hallway right there um, for the playground, if you hook a left, my office is right over there. That's where you can find me. We're going to go this way. Hi, Miss Victoria. Hi. <laughs> and through these doors is another set of locked doors with the same buzzer system. So typically without COVID, you'd be walking your child down to the classroom. And if that were the case, you'd hit this second set of locked doors and have to use the code to ring the bell in your child's classroom again. So two sets of locked doors before we get even to the classroom. We're going to go through these. And this is our one hallway. We have five classrooms, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. We're going to go all the way down to the end. If you can see the blue door down there, that's where the blue classroom is. All right, and here we go. And this is Mr. Ricardo setting up for the day. It's about 7.30 in the morning right now. Um, so he's getting the classroom ready. This is what it looks like. We have tables marked off. Uh, right now we only have seven kids in the class, but that will go up to 10 and then eventually 14. Um, and as you can see, the tables are marked so that the children each have their own section of the table, trying to maintain six foot distancing the best we can in here. There's several areas of the classroom. We have the group time rug, then dramatic play, kitchen set. There's a block area. There's a library center. And as you can see right here, um, the shelving is kind of blocked off with blue paper. Typically all of these pieces of shelving are open with a lot of toys and materials available. But because of COVID, we have to restrict what's being used so that we can keep an eye on what's being used and disinfect and sanitize appropriately. So a lot of our materials are blocked off. Only certain things are available on any given day so that once they're used, they can be sanitized and more materials can be put out. All right, right out here, right outside the classroom are the bathrooms. 
You have the boys' room and the girls' room. Uh, typical school bathrooms uh, with stalls. And we do not put doors on the stalls. Um, the, the stalls are just divided. We have no doors on the stalls because we don't want the kids locking themselves in there. But the toilets are child size uh, to foster their in independence. And as you can see, the sinks have step stools. We do have a changing table available if needed. Uh, as you can see, the blue paper down there covering one of the stalls, that's to maintain six foot distancing. We have the middle stall blocked off so only the two outer stalls can be used. We have two sinks blacked off as well, again, for six foot distancing. So only two sinks are used at a time and there's space between two children at a time to use the bathrooms. And then this is the door at the other end of our hallway, the opposite door that we came in. That door is locked. It does have a buzzer system. So it's only pre-K locked down in this one wing of the middle school. Those doors are locked from exterior, and the other doors that we came in are locked from the exterior. So that's about it. That's our tour of the blue classroom. I hope I answered any of your questions. Um, if not, please give me a call, 203-736-6964. Thanks, bye-bye.